Hi, this is Chris. Today I will show you how you can use the Internet of Things to show important information in a new way. This is something I did for an airline company and we were using the sales figures during the day to change the color of a flower. The company has a digital dashboard web page with their important business intelligence information and the information is updated throughout the day. They wanted to show the most important information, the ticket sales, in a more visual way. I thought it would be nice if a flower in the office would change color depending on the sales. In the morning the flower is red and as the budget is met it changes to yellow and finally green. Here you can see the needed hardware for this lab and in addition to the Arduino the important component is the RGB LED. To connect everything you need a breadboard, three resistors and four jumper cables that have a male pin on each end. You will probably be fine with the 220 ohm resistor but for a perfect color you should check the specification of the LED to be sure. In my case the drop was 2 volts over the red pin and 3.1 volts over the other pins so according to Ohm's law, I used the 180 ohm resistor for the red pin and two 100 ohm resistors for the other pins. To set up the hardware, you start by disconnecting everything from its power source and then connect the ground on the Arduino to the second or longest pin on the LED. Then connect Arduino's pin 11 to the first or red LED pin the Arduino pin 10 to the third or green pin on the LED and Arduino pin 9 to the fourth or blue pin on the LED. On the server side, a small script gets the current sales, compares it with the budget and depending on the result it returns a color. I cannot share the actual script, but the following simple omnichannel service code will work for this lab. And as you can see, it simply returns a color code. This service can be deployed to a cloud server with the name color.php. And I showed how to do that in my previous video named Omnichannel Services First Service. Here is the Arduino code or sketch. And after the initial include, the variables are defined on lines 3 to 8. The setup initializes the bridge on line 12, which allows communication between the microcontroller and the microprocessor. Then the three pins are set to output mode on lines 13 to 14. The eternal loop starts by retrieving the color value from the omnichannel service on line 20 to 26, and then each pin is set to the corresponding value of each color on lines 27 to 32. Finally, there is a delay of 5 seconds on line 33 before the loop starts over again. Here are some photos of the flower as it changes color. To make the light a bit stronger, there is no problem in using two RGB LEDs, and the easiest way would be to connect them in parallel, which means that you would connect the second LED pins to the first. So. There you see how you can use the Internet of Things to show important information in a new way. And with that, I wish you the best of luck with your Internet of Things projects. Thank you.